Hi, welcome to my couch. I'm Elsa Moira and today I'm going to be talking about easy vegan meals for uni. So I've got five meals here too, so this could definitely work as a meal plan for a dinner each night of the week. And I also did a massive grocery haul in my last video, which was my moving vlog, which I can link up here if you're interested in watching any more food sort of content. And just a quick disclaimer, all these recipes are vegan and I consider myself plant-based. Also, I'm not really into measurements, but um, I've done my best so you guys can follow it if you want to. So firstly, I made a vegan spag bowl. Um, this is obviously such a classic and I think it's really good for uni as sort of like a comfort meal It's something that you might have had at home and it's really easy It's also just sort of like a level up from your basic pasta and pasta sauce So yeah, you will need garlic, onions, chopped tomatoes, olive oil, spaghetti and then a vegan mince or lentils So in my past grocery haul I bought corn mince and I've been having this for ages thinking it was vegan because corn is like the vegetarian brand in the UK, you know, it's everywhere. And I went to go check the price of corn online for this video and I realized the second ingredient in it is egg. And actually so many of the ingredients in corn are egg. So it's all vegetarian, but not actually vegan. So for the sake of this recipe, I'm using corn mince just so I'm not wasting food. But some vegan mince recommendations, I love the Vera mince, Meatless Farm also has mince, Plant Pioneers, there's so many amazing vegan brands that you can buy from. Another cheaper version of this, you could use lentils which I've seen plenty of recipes do. So firstly I put the spaghetti on and just below the package instructions and I'd also salt the water as it always makes it taste a bit better. And while I was doing that I chopped and started to fry the onions. After they got quite soft, I then put the garlic in so the garlic didn't burn. At this point, I would then put in your vegan mince. If you're doing lentils, I'll link a recipe down below. So I waited until all of this in the pan got brown and then I added my chopped tomatoes. This is a really easy way to make your own pasta sauce and this just levels up a bit from just jarred pasta sauce. Also, if you wanted to change this recipe up a bit, this is the point I'd add any vegetables. And now when this got to the consistency I wanted, I then just added the pasta and let this all mix together and then plated it up. Okay, so next is a pita pizza. I absolutely love this. This is probably the easiest recipe I'm talking about and I've made it for other people and it's always such a hit. So for this you will need pita, tomato paste, some sort of vegan cheese, nutritional yeast, and then whatever toppings you want. I personally used corn and onion. So first I put the pita in the oven just to get a little toasted and then I put tomato paste on top as my pizza sauce. Then you would add your toppings in order of what needs the most cooking. So I put my onions first because those need quite a bit and then I put my corn on after. Once everything on there is cooked, then you can add your cheese. I use some violi. And if you're on a bit more of a budget, you could just use nutritional yeast, which is a bit cheaper. Okay, so now moving on to stir fry noodles. I make this so much, it's a great lunch and dinner and you can use just whatever veggies you need to use up at the time. So for this you'll need noodles, onions, peas and spinach. But honestly you can put whatever vegetables you like in this. I then when I was filming this used some tamari and then just some canned hoisin sauce. But I will link down below the most amazing satay sauce recipe which is vegan and so tasty. So you just want to start by putting your noodles in following the cooking instructions. And then the key to a stir fry is to put everything in one pan but put the things that need cooking the longest in first. So I started with my onions and then went in with my peas and spinach and then added my noodles at the end. So sweet potato fries are something I've always made for other people and they seem to love it. This is so simple, all you'll need is a sweet potato, olive oil, and then whatever seasonings you want, I use salt, pepper, dill and garlic powder. And then I also made a side like garlic aioli, so then I used some vegan mayo for that. I started by chopping up a small to medium sweet potato, and I put this in the oven about an hour to 40 minutes before I actually wanted to eat it. The temperature was about 180 degrees Celsius, and I left it in for 45 minutes. I put salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic on the sweet potatoes before I put them in the oven and then I moved on to the aioli. For this I pretty much just squeeze some vegan mayo into a bowl and mix this with garlic powder and dill. I particularly like to do this with fresh herbs but I didn't have any on me but if you do it's really really nice. For this kind of meal I like to add a little bit of green and protein on the side but the main star of this dish were the sweet potato fries. Okay, so finally, I made a vegan chili. For this, you'll need olive oil, red onion, garlic, chopped tomatoes, some cans of beans, a tortilla, and avocado. So I started by chopping up my red onion and putting this in a pan with some olive oil and then adding my garlic once the onion was softened. I then put in my beans. You can put whatever you like in this. I used red kidney beans and some chickpeas. 
When this was nice and cooked, I then added my chopped tomatoes and put this on a back burner. Then in a separate frying pan, I cut up a tortilla in some sort of triangular chip shapes and I fried this with a little bit of olive oil. I waited until these had the right chip feel to them and then I plated everything up. So you can see I just put the avocado next to it as a topping just for some sort of difference in texture and temperature. So I really hope some of these recipes were useful. I personally love all of them. Let me know which one was your favorite down below. And if you try any of these recipes, please tag me on Instagram. My Instagram is Elsa Mitchell. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you liked this video. And I upload every Monday, so I hope to see you next time.